Hello and welcome to Yeyu Lab. In a previous video, we walked through app development with the Crew AI framework using Streamlit. However, the app we built was quite basic, which only demonstrated Crew AI workflow visualization triggered by an initial prompt at a user inputs. It lacked interaction between humans and agent group after the workflow began. In a typical multi-agent application, human input is critical to ensure each step generated by AI agents can be reviewed and approved. Today, we will create a new version of the Crew AI app that enables agents to request human input in the visualized chat box and allows humans to provide feedback through the chat input widget on the web. Specifically, in this new UI design, I opt to move away from Streamlit as the UI builder. I'll explain the rationale behind this decision later. Instead, I'll be utilizing Panel, a framework I have previously used for Autogen projects to reconstruct the entire Crew AI visualization design and expand human interaction capabilities. So why not use Streamlit? If you look at the chatbot demo code for Streamlit, you will continuously find snippets similar to this at the middle of every program. This loop is responsible for recursively displaying all the historical chat messages. As a Python-based web framework, Streamlit operates on a refresh concept. This means every interaction with Streamlit widgets such as message input or menu selection triggers an internal refresh that reruns the application from the first line. Consequently, any interim data must be stored in a cache object session state to ensure its existence upon reset. This approach works fine for simple LLM-powered chatbot applications. We can append user input to the chat history and prompt the language model for inference, regardless of app resets. However, it becomes impractical for complex LLM-powered applications like Crew AI-structured multi-agent apps. The collaborative nature of internal thought, decision, action process within a multiple agent workflow doesn't align well with the streamlit uh, structure, especially when human interaction is involved. In Crew AI, when an agent requests a human input, it halts the entire workflow and utilizes the standard input function input to await user input on the terminal. If we were to replace the standard input with Streamlit chat input widget in our design, any user input would trigger a workflow restart causing the generated thoughts and actions to vanish. Therefore, we need a more suitable framework capable of maintaining the in runtime session of both the app and web interface across multiple rounds of input and output. Now let's move our focus to panel and explore how it achieves UI design with seamless human agent interaction within our Crew AI application. Before we dive into the code of the entire Crew AI process, let's quickly explore the Panel framework. Panel provides a series of powerful but easy to use widgets to help data app developers quickly visualize their thoughts, experiments, and final projects without any HTML knowledge background. To meet the explosive requirements of LLM apps, they expanded their widgets library with chatbot templates called chat interface, which will be used in this Crew AI demo project. Unlike Streamlit, 
panel works as a server in the background without actively resetting the app. So we can put the function logic sequentially in the main body or callbacks like a normal Python program. To start a simple panel server, firstly input the package panel SPN. Select the style of overall UI appearance. Here we use the design style as material. Define a callback function that handle the user input. And start the server with chat interface widget. The main function of our crew AI application will be implemented in the callbacks that will be introduced later. To add messages in the chat area, just use the send methods after the program runs by the command. Then we can run the panel command, panel serve in the terminal. You will find this output on the terminal indicating the successful app running. Then you will have a decent panel based echo chatbot. Knowing how to create a panel app, let's see how to integrate Crew AI workflow into it. Our demo workflow will implement a copywriting studio that allows the user to input the topic for a writing task. And then the UI will display how the orchestrator agent prompts the writer agent and the review agent to generate text in sequence. Then have human input interacted to provide confirmation before the final result generated. To implement this workflow, we just simply follow the guidance of the Crew AI of the Crew AI framework to create the to create the agent task crew and process. Now let's dive deeper to the code. Firstly, we should import the crew AI packages together with the Lynch and OpenAI package. Then we define the LLM object with chat OpenAI uh, model GPT 3.5 Turbo. Here we create two agents to writing and reviewing the generated articles. In your own project, make sure you have a refined role, backstory, and goal to prompt agents as its system definition. To redirect the output from the agents, here we define a custom callback handler, my custom handler, to print out our preferred output to the panel interface. Now let's see how to implement the class my custom handler. The callback handler my custom handler is from a class that derives from Lanchain's class base callback base callback handler tracking the key stages during the agent action process. In our case, we display the instruct message from the from the orchestrator by the onchain start event and the response message from the relevant agent by the onchain end event in the generation sequence. Move forward, let's define a function star crew with a user instruction prompt to wrap up the chat group within these agents and orchestrators. Here we defined two tasks related to the two agents and consolidated them into the project crew as well as the process as hierarchical. 
process. Please especially notice that you must set human input as true in the task you want to involve human interaction and mention in the task description about checking with human for review confirmation as well. Here I said make sure to check with a human if your comment is good before finalizing your answer. So that's two steps will trigger the human interaction. We will not directly call the star crew function in the main body. It is defined for being called in the callback of panel. If you still remember, we have a callback function registered with initialization of the panel chat interface at the beginning, triggered by each message input. Now it's the time to define the callback function. In this simple definition, we use the threading mechanism to run the start screw in the thread to prevent the callback function being blocked by the crew AI's processing. We use the threading mechanism to run the start crew um, function in a thread to prevent the callback function being uh, blocked by the crew AI's processing. The threading is the key to enabling human interaction because when the processing of waiting for human input blocks the process, the callback handler can still be triggered to handle the continuous human input. Now we should implement human input. Since the crew AI does not provide an interface to porting customer methods of human input, we have to perform a monkey patch to temporarily overwrite the internal function ask human input of the class crew agent executor. In this customized function, we first display the prompt message generated by the orchestrator to notify the user to input. Then the process released the running uh, resource into a sleep for user input from the panel's callback handler. By overwriting the original standard input based crew agent executor, each time the workflow moves to the human interaction, it will show on the UI. That's all for the code. Now we can wrap up the code and run our uh, crew AI UI application. Uh, let's say right uh, travel block of Boho Island. This is the instructions from the crew AI's orchestrator. Now the writer agent comes and generate the blog post. The orchestrator send another instruction to reviewer and reviewer generate comments. Then the orchestrator comes to the user to tell the user to ask a user to provide a feedback, a approved, go on. Then the final result is generated. Okay, please try by yourself to run your own crew AI application with your refined 
agents and tasks on this decent web UI powered by panel. That's all for today. For the tutorial and the source code, you can find the link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Keep innovating and I'll catch you in the next one.